Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins, and today NASA has outlined a plan to send humans to an asteroid in the next 10 years and to Mars in the 2030s. The goal of the expedition is to examine Mars, which once could have supported life to determine whether there is any evidence that it did, and further explore the question, does life exist beyond Earth? I mean, Mars isn't entirely new to us. The Mars Curiosity rover landing was a phenomenon in 2012, and the rover has continued to provide new radiation data for scientists to mull over in the years since, and that will be critical in planning for the future journey. But before that, we're going to get our feet down on an asteroid. NASA says, Our next step is deep space, where NASA will send a robotic mission to capture and redirect an asteroid to orbit the moon. Astronauts aboard the Orion spacecraft will explore the asteroid in the 2020s, returning to Earth with samples. This experience in human spaceflight beyond low Earth orbit will help NASA test new systems and capabilities, such as solar electric propulsion, which will need to send cargo as part of human missions to Mars. NASA will use the new systems and tests to develop new capabilities and evolve their space launch system rocket, which they say will be the most powerful launch vehicle ever flown, which is good since uh, it's a long trip. NASA will also rely on advances in understanding how space affects human biology thanks to the International Space Station, which is also testing and proving communications technologies that will be required for the trip. Tomorrow, NASA will launch their new Orion spacecraft, which will be unmanned this time, but is ultimately intended to support the Mars mission. Orion is just 16 and a half feet across and a little bit under 11 feet tall, so it's larger than Apollo by nearly a third and can accommodate six for short durations or a crew of four regularly. The first manned flight is planned for 2021. What do you think of this plan to get to Mars in the next 15 to 25-ish years? I mean, I'll probably be old and crotchety and talking about how spaceflight was way better in my day, even though it's really not because we don't do it, but that's just me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. You get the best in video games, entertainment, and future space right here, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel, and we'll keep you in the know.